Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. On this Thursday, June 13th, 2023, we want to welcome all our viewers from YouTube on the video version format, and all of you, of course, on this platform. Folks, I want to start off by saying, expecting the unexpected, part two. And what we're going to talk about today is a couple stories that I want to take you back on. Things that can happen to you that you just don't expect. You feel like you're blindsided. You feel like you are just being launched missiles at and there's nothing you can do to stop them from penetrating, from exploding in front of your face. However, what you don't realize is that when the smoke clears, you'll find that you'll never ever have one, not one, scar that's visible for the eye can see. Have faith, let it begin. Video format, audio edition, Thursday edition, throwback Thursday edition starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. As you can hear, the energy is slowly coming back, and I'm feeling better and better each and every day. So thank you for your prayers. Folks, I want to start off by talking about a couple things. When we expect the unexpected, okay, when we expect the unexpected, you cannot understand how hard it is to sit there in life and wait for anything and everything to happen. You cannot expect the unexpected to occur. You know what you can expect? To have your heavenly father with you at all times. Yes, how do we say that when we are launched missiles at and it actually explodes in front of your face, meaning you're getting bad news, you're getting things that are happening to you that you don't know how to deal with at that very moment and expect to say, okay, if that's happening, why didn't God stop it? Why didn't God get in front of it and just swat the missiles from hitting me? Well, I'm going to tell you why. This is my opinion. In life, we go through so many different things, right? We, we, we deal with heartache. We deal with pain, struggles. You know, back in 2013, I left a job after being with them for seven years. It was AAA. I decided it was time to go back into management. And I sought out my former employer who started the whole career for me. And they were called Dial America Marketing. And they picked me back up. And I went back to work. I started commuting. Things were okay. There was a plan already in place from God. He knew that I was not gonna be destined to be at that job for a very long time. Because he knew he was gonna plant seeds for me to gain a better relationship and a better understanding with God. But I didn't know all these things. I didn't know all this was gonna happen. I'm kind of giving you the, the, the forward and back story. So here I am working at this place and I meet this guy who we just immediately start to click. His name is Sigfredo. You know him as Freddy. And Freddy automatically starts to reintroduce me and explain to me the difference between being religious, quote unquote, and having a relationship with God. And that's what was missing in my life, not having that relationship with God. And throughout that year and a half that I was there, I had a lot, of bad, a lot more bad days than I did have good days. And Freddie always knew what to say to make me feel better. Freddie always put himself out there to say, okay, don't worry, Angel. Today's gonna be a better day. Don't let today struggle you. Don't let today ruin the best of you. And he kept me on course. Eventually, I would get laid off. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda knew it was coming. But you don't know when that final day is gonna happen. So when I got pulled into the office and they told me I had lost my job, I was exactly one month away from my wedding. Yep, May 12th, 2015. My wedding day was June 12th, 2015. I, I drove home, it was a very long drive home. I was upset, 
I was in tears. I didn't know what I was gonna tell my wife. I got home and told her that I lost my job. She immediately called my mom. My mom was there and I just started to break down in tears. I just started to cry. Now, what all of you may not remember or don't, don't know is that because I knew that there were layoffs coming and I knew that my job was in jeopardy, I knew that I had to seek out other adventures, other journeys. Yeah, I could have went back to AAA. They would have taken me with open arms, but I felt like I'd taken a step forward. I didn't want to take a step back. No disrespect to them there. Just wanted to, to do what I do best in the industry of helping people in different ways. Well, what happened? I had gone in an interview that March. They had called me for a second interview that April. So when I got home on May 12th, and I was crying at the dinner, t at the dinner table, after the tears had subsided, it was time to just kind of get up, dust myself off, and figure out what was going to be next. So I remember asking my wife, did you check the voicemail? And she said, no, I haven't. When I checked the messages, the very first message went from a lady named Nancy Harney. She was, pardon me, she was a recruiter, now retired, and she told me that I had the job. So the day that I lost my job was the same day that I found this job, and I've never been happier. You cannot expect the unexpected. And when the unexpected arrives, you have to plan, you have to know that God's plan is in action. You have to know that there's a reason behind it. It's very simple to get mad, especially if it's worse news, like a loved one being in the hospital in danger of losing their life, if it's a car accident, if it's just things that will rock your world, a breakup, changes at work but you have to put your best foot forward you have to believe that God has the best interest in your heart and that he will ride you on this journey on this path to the next glory in your life so where do we go from here how do we expect the unexpected I overheard a YouTuber say that. I've learned to not expect the unexpected. Stop thinking negatively. Stop thinking what if, what could, what should, what will. Concentrate on today. Concentrate on your relationship with God and know that today is the day that the Lord has made. So rejoice and be glad in it. When you wake up and you have air in your lungs, say to yourself, with God, it's a new day. And today will be a better day than yesterday. So may God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Get ready for another half eight live let it begin edition. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're gonna encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right, you and I are gonna help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and it, yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready, fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.